In Minecraft 1.21, better known as the Tricky Trials update, a new structure was added. Inside of this structure, there's a whole bunch of new loot tables, spawners, and mobs. And in this video, I'll be giving you helpful tips to use while exploring these new trial chambers. If you enjoyed the video, then please make sure to like and comment any tips that you found yourself while exploring the new dungeons. Sneaking around. Trial spawners turn on when a player is 14 unobstructed blocks away. And unlike other games where you can sneak around certain obstacles or monsters, trial spawners just don't care. But you can make this more of a roguelike adventure. If you place blocks at the same level as the spawner and walk up to it, you can get as close as one block away when it's obstructed, either crouching or uncrouching. Even if sneaking around isn't really your style, hopefully it'll save you some time exploring the new dungeons. Bring a water bucket. A water bucket is a must have for trial chambers. Now spawners drop random status effects and arrows and not only will your handy bucket come in to save you from being burnt to a crisp by the random fires that spawn, but it's also very useful for adventuring into some of the specific chamber rooms, especially chamber two. The floor is covered in powdered snow. Now a pair of leather boots might do the trick, but with how much damage you'll be taking, best to keep those diamond or netherite boots on. Put the water on a solid block and watch the snow melt away. You could just parkour over the pit, but since strays spawn in this room, it's easy to get shot off. And the last thing you want is to be in a mosh pit while being frozen to death. And don't worry, if you forgot to bring your trusty bucket, you can find some in the nearby dispensers. Hidden rooms. There are a bunch of new copper blocks that decorate these trial chambers, but have you ever felt that those blocks were just slightly out of place, like a, a trap door or a grate that just leads into nowhere? Well, there might be more to these blocks than it seems. Whether these little rooms are hiding a vault with cool loot or traces of players before you, keep your eyes peeled for certain oddities because some are more obvious than others. Others need a more dedicated eye to spot. Breeze traps. In some chambers, players can find a new mob, the Breeze, and this mob is unique because it is one of the only mobs that can actually interact with buttons and trap doors. And I say one of the only because we know who the real OG was here. Be extra careful when fighting the Breeze because you could find yourself trapped in some small protection holes, being hit by eggs, or even poisoned. Maybe some sneaking paired with dispenser breaking before battling the Breeze is the best way to avoid taking an arrow to the knee. Storage. As you battle your way through the chambers, your inventory is bound to get filled up. If you're in the late game, then bring shulkers and ender chests to avoid your looting three sword, making your inventory full of spider eyes and rotten flesh. If you're earlier in the game, bring some barrels or chests to place around, preferably in a safe location like the rest areas in the chamber, because when you're done conquering the chambers, good luck organizing all of that. Even though you just fought all those mobs off, this is the real hardest part of the chambers. Trial spawners. Next to each spawner, you'll notice a different decoration block, and these blocks represent what mobs you'll fight if you activate the spawner. Now, this may be more obvious than some of the other tips, but I'll name a few anyway. Ice will spawn strays, sandstone will spawn husks, chiseled tough will spawn the breeze, and if you're in the early game, you'll be happy to know moss spawns slimes. If you're running low on shield durability or armor, it's probably best if you check the spawner's mob before you actually commit to fighting it. Food. The last thing any adventurer wants is to have to return home in the middle of an epic battle because they forgot to take their pork chops out of the oven. Trial spawners can give you drops like golden carrots, steak, cooked potatoes, etc., but not nearly enough to keep you alive for the entire dungeon. This is probably the most important tip I can share with you, buds. Bring lots of food. Bonus. Since you made it to the end of the video, have this bonus tip. Ominous vaults can only be used once by a single player. If you're on a server, then you and your friends can each have a go at vaults with separate keys. But if you're on single player, you're stuck with one time only loot. A sneaky way to get around this though, is if you open your world up to LAN and have multiple Minecraft accounts or some siblings you can bully into spinning again for you. This way you can double your loot. It might be a little sneaky to get around Minecraft system, but hey, if you get two heavy cores or a new CD, I'd say it's worth it. Hopefully these seven tips can help you in your next adventure into Minecraft's new trial chambers. If you have any tips you'd like to share, then feel free to let us know in the comments. And buds, have a great time in these chambers. If you're new here, then please do make sure to join the village today because it's only a click away. In 
1.20. <laughs> 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 